Hi, uh, this is Vinay from e Competency Tech, and today we will learn we will learn how we can bind a drop down with Google Spreadsheet. For that, for example, we have two column here, item and status, and this column we need to bind drop down with each cells. So how we can do in a very easy manner? So for that I created uh, one another sheet and there I have written some status values. So these values will get displayed as a drop down. So let me select it. So I have selected this. Then there is a data menu and there is a named ranges sub menu click on named ranges and give here the appropriate name so i have given here status and clicked on done and this is the range we can bind drop down using range as well but there is option that we can give name so whenever we will bind drop down we can use the name so this is the name so i clicked on done now I am coming to sheet 2. Now I am selecting this column. Then after that I will press Ctrl and unselect this status. Ok, then right click. After right clicking, I have view more action and which is having condition which is having a uh, data validation click on data validation and there is a enter a range or formula so here we can give this range or we can give the name so i can just give the name status Once I have given the status, I click the save button. So see how this is coming. Drop down are getting populated here. So this is how very easily we can populate using the name instead of giving the range. So for example, if you want to populate here, so just right, right click, go to view more cells, actions and there is a data validation. Just give status, the range name. And save it. So when, once you save it, it will populate here. Let me delete because I don't need it. Okay, so this is how the data is get, getting populated. If you, if when you are selecting the, then there is colors are not coming here. So what we need to do for that? Okay, so for that we need to, we need to select this column. Then go to data, then select and then do right, right, right click, view more, cell in action and you will give conditional formatting. Go to conditional formatting and you will get is not empty. See there is a format rules, then that we need to select text contents always. And whatever name is here, just we will write one by one. So, in progress, I'll just copy it. Select text content and paste in progress and give the color of in progress. Let's say I have given yellow and click done then I will have another value analysis
analysis. Let's say complete the analysis. Then another role we need to create. For that again select text contents. Give analysis and select one color for analysis. Let's say I have given light blue. Again I will go here. Copy completed. I will create another rules. Conditional format rules. I will select text content. And I will give here. Completed. Then I will select one color let's say green then again I will come here select on hold again I will create another rule select text content paste and give a color let's say like gray color done so whenever we will select the items it will give the color as well so this is how we can create a drop down and populate for any column thank you if you like this video please subscribe my channel the competency type